All right, where can we spawn so that we've got enough jet -A? It'd have to be either Harrison or... O'Neill. I'll have a look at Harrison now. I'll jump to O'Neill. Pretty sure we topped them up. That's 13,487 uh, O'Neill. 1482. Yeah, so just... So there then. All right, you want to get over here and spawn it then? I'll just teleport there and get my pump truck. Yeah, why don't you strap a seat on each wing? And why <laughs> don't why them pubs can sit on the wing? <laughs> I think they might die of yeah. everything by the time we get but, there. But it would be funny, right? It would be oh, hilarious. Stick the seats on. Come on, let's do this. Oh, I don't want to ruin the guy's creation, though. You're not. He wow. literally just put a so just man. literally put a seat and a heater next to e next to each of them on the wings. And then when we put the heating on, they'll get heating as well, and they can wear an outside outfit. Make sure we've got enough outfits. Let's do it. Come on, that'd be fun. Come on. They'll be so sat on the wing of a blackbird. On. Give it amazing. To pressure. Come on. Are they having a padded seat or a passenger seat? Passenger seat, please. I need the back support. Yeah, you don't need a back support. This will be neck breaking. <laughs> right, this is going to be amazing, guys. Hang on, I better color code it better now. I want pink. We'll try the chopper <laughs> when we get up, though. I know it's going to work. Whoa. <laughs> I've just looked at the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Whiteland? Is that genuinely scumbag Whiteland? I'm just making a cake for you. It's like you are the cake. <laughs> I have no idea where the heaters are in this thing. You're off to bed, Mr. Yorni. All right, mate. It'll be fine. It'll work. I'm just going to knit for a quick bio while Sammy puts okay. seats on the plane. Does this thing even have a heater? No clue. Oh, nearly Whiteland. <laughs> There's so much stuff in here, I don't even think I can find it. Just add a separate one if you need to. No, it was for the controls for it. I suppose I could just let you control it individually, yeah. didn't I? Yeah. Oh, good spot, White. Nice one. I'll see if I can find anything else. Oh, White, come over here. I'll deliver them to you. Is it ready yet? Not yet. Gee, just patience, Matt. Right, the two seats and a on... heater. Come on. <laughs> the heaters are on one. Okay. Here's the other one, White. And there you go. Ping. All right, we need jet A. We do indeed need jet A. If you wind up the electrics to the heaters before you refuel all this. Yeah, you sit in the seat and you press one. Whiteland, can you please not? Because you're uh, moving the entire thing into the wall. Uh, um.
All right, and then we'll need diesel in the cart as well. This thing's sliding. Uh, where's this jet A going? On the side there. Yeah, but there's three pumps. Goes in the jet A one, the blue, the red one. I to get some fuel in the APU. Ready, gang. What's the blue for? Add blue. Water. But I don't know whether we need that or not. I don't. I hope that's not for the cooling system. <laughs> You're a water truck. I have a truck that can spawn water in, but there's nowhere to spawn it now. So. Are we pumping diesel in as well? Yeah. Why is the number not going down? Why are you started that? Not me. White then. White then. Can you please, please get out and not do this? Because I want to show people how kick it all works. Kick him, Paul. He's pressed the button. He's that's going. Oh, for God's sake, he's pulling it. White then, please don't. You're the host. You can kick him. Well, I don't want to, but please don't do that. Do we need water? How much first? fuel have we just burned? Twelve. <laughs> have we got 2, enough? 3,000. Have we got enough to get there? Also, do we need water first? I don't know. Because I can quickly stick a fluid spawner inside my truck and have water. I don't know if, I mean, we flew last time without water, I think. But it's whether, I don't know where. Let me just try and find if I can route this thing. Oh, uh, we've already flown it, PHO Ducky, I'll show you. That's what I want to show you, how it all works. Because so we'll go through the checklist and everything. Weird, I can't pick that up. So I think the water is only for fire suppression. Okay. okay. I think uh, it's only a quick... Well, we flew it without water, so it's fine. Let's go. Right. So as far as I know, you hook those two lines up, you then have to press this pump in thing. Yeah. The brakes can go on on the cart. Right, that's me starting the cart. We need this generator to be on yet. This so. is not no. fueling diesel yet. Yeah, I was just about to say, this ain't taking diesel. Is it full? It must be full. Yeah, diesel tank is full. Obviously, it's only a little tank. It's got 108. Wait, uh... We need this started. No, it is running no, already. No. Engine RPS zero. Not that. Don't touch that. Just oh. leave it. <laughs> the cart is running. You have to drive it out on this route. No. No. All you gotta do is sit on that seat on the wing and enjoy. That's all you gotta do. Hey, I'm not messing this up. I didn't press anything last time. I'm just genuinely interested because I, when you tested it last time, I didn't pay attention. What's the fuel gauge for the um I have no idea. I knew you were then gonna ask. Um in the back and the on. front. I'll have a look at this one. Fuel per minute vertical. Fuel remaining thirty four hundred. That's on the right though. It's got thirty five hundred in it's about a quarter of a tank by the look of it. Yeah, so I think we need we need to just take everything basically. Yeah. At least it's actually fueling, right? 
Yeah. Oh, you're kidding me. There aren't wing seats on this one. It's fine. I'm just going to teleport anyway. Oh, man. Don't worry. You just fly it and it's I'll teleport I... and meet you there. Because uh... you took the version with the seats on it. Yeah, I did. If someone didn't mess with it in the first place, though. That's annoying, that would have been a lot of fun. Yeah. It, well, we can't sit him on the seat now, Scotty. Uh, six and a half K left in the Jet A tank. We'd have to unpump this and then spawn the one with seats on it. Well, if we reload, we'll lose all the fuel. We can pump all the fuel out and reload it. It's up to you. I would personally just reload the save. We we can't. Um... We can't. Oh, hang on. There's a pump on here, Paul. What if I turn this one off? Does that one take it out? No, we can't pump it back out either. Yeah, I'd just reload the save. We'll have more fuel then as well. Well, would have been taken off about now, I mean, but. <laughs> have you got the one with the seats, or do you need to spawn the I one I may have? Uh, I, I've, I'll just, I'll do it again because I want to check that it works before. I mean, uh another set game at the moment. Let me just check that it all works and then we can go, can't we? Thank you. Let's know if it's okay and I'll just spawn this something. Yeah, I'm just now climbing up on the wing to see if the heater actually works. How many jet engines is that? Um, I reckon it's... I thought it was four personally, but it might be two with afterburners. So, they're not currently on, but whether when all the systems are working it will be on, I don't know. Well... It needs to be wired to something specific. You've driven one off the clutch and the other one off the throttle lever. Electrically, yeah, anyway. Which is where I've done the same things, but whether they don't work until things are retracted and working, you know? And is there enough thermal outfits for them all, for four people? Uh, no, they're on the little gantry thing, aren't they? I could put two more on. Hang on. Well... The outside people will definitely need it. 
You can tell that's taken a lot to draw. Welcome to the nut house. It's just crazy. Actually crazy. The onboard systems are amazing. Uh, Mark Cool, thank you very much for subbing, Mark. Welcome to the net house, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Dave. All right, I'm joining your game now. Just as the sun sets. Yay. That's okay, we've got autopilot. Doesn't work very well. Yes, it does, it works fine. I got you to the Arctic last time, didn't I? Off poise. I thought it was something just flew past. Will it go supersonic? No, but it goes very, very quickly. You won't sit there thinking, oh, this is a bit slow. The heck, man? Uh, he didn't lay enough out. Yeah, there you go. You should be good now. Pumping. Yep. Uh, it seems to be taking a lot more diesel than last time. That's full. We're taking all the jet, ain't we? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't forget your thermal outfit, Paul. That's a good point. Where are they? Bottom of the steps. Nice orange thermal outfit. Looks rather dashing. I'm sure this is how they fly blackbirds with a big Parker coat on. Yeah, I reckon so. Flying up for a screenshot. Hooray! That's weird on my screen. I'm looking. We're looking in opposite directions. Wow. Yeah, you're basically like looking to the side. Look at the wall. Looks like puppies in white under hugging. <laughs> yeah, look to the wall. How do I do that exactly? Just look. Move your cursor to look the other way. So you're looking at the back of your head. And then press escape and go photo mode. Yeah, I've got it. <laughs> It keeps moving its head. <laughs> I'm not moving my head, I don't know. There you go. <laughs> when you move your cursor, you move your head in game. It doesn't really show me. Nine and a half K left. Yeah, well, we're just under half, so I wonder... I can't remember... I, I, because I r only run this in unlimited, I don't ever know how much fuel it takes. It lost like a third of its fuel before it took off. Because what would happen is when it got to altitude, the tanks would expand and fill the gap. So yeah, it dripped fuel everywhere constantly. But yeah, total credit to whoever put this on the workshop and, and did such a fantastic job of it. Like I say, it must have taken them at least two hours to do this, maybe three. <laughs> and the rest. 
Is that just the bodywork? Because you know how many microprocessors there are in this thing, right? Yeah, they're probably just copy pasted some lower from, uh, <laughs> from a few websites, you know. So can I ask, how much of this startup do you remember from yesterday? Well, I'll just go through the checklist. I'll just have a vague remember of where everything is, won't I? Right, okay. But I do, I do remember that when we come into land, I will need the auto um, stabilizer oh, stuff uh, on because it's really unstable can, without that. You can put them on before we take off. It Probably does wise. Say, it yeah. does say if you're suffering from lag or whatever, put them on. Let's put them on because it it was Although you'll really twitchy. Although you probably received less lag this time because you're the host this time round, aren't you? It, it wasn't a la well, I suppose so. Yeah. Seven K left. CSJ, thank you for f almost four years. How's everyone? Um, Patiently waiting for it to refuel the Blackbird. Yeah, we've got 8k in it. In it. In it, bruv. In it. Welcome back. Oh, yeah, what would also be quite cool, Paul, is as we run through the checklist, there's actually a button on your right hand side that says confirm checklist step complete. And I get a little <laughs> audible ding. <laughs> Love I mean, it. I, I, I'm fairly confident I'll actually scroll the page then as well. That's amazing. Happy do you want to show people the back cockpit while you're waiting? Yeah, I can do. Obviously, please don't press anything. <laughs> this is Sommy's seat. Sommy's like Scotty in the back. Pre fight checklist, start ground cart. APU on, AP generator on. Checklist pages, current checklist step. Speed monitor, temperature monitors. Happy Emergency overrides. Nothing. Definitely won't need those. It'll be fine. Enable cockpit voice comms. <laughs> yeah, and those emergency overrides are really clever. They only work if your seat isn't occupied. And then I'll be in this seat here. Which so is the one with all the guns. I can still control the aircraft. I don't know if I'll be able to land it like that, though. Nose wheel steering, brakes. We've got fire extinguishers as well in case we get a fire. Maintain altitude. System, APU, engine. Confirm checklist step complete. There it is. There's the button. Canopy button. Voice comms, throttle lever. Should be fun. Got some cake. You wait till you hear it when you fire it up. It's awesome. Referent curly toes has yeah, done an upgrade. Interest, Paul, if you do, so the ground cart is started. So in theory, that's a confirm. Okay. So if you do the. Oh yeah, that's well cool. <laughs> <laughs> So I got a little ding, and then a light came on my dash, and then I clicked it, and now it says two on my readout. So it means that obviously now I tell you checklist two. That's awesome. <laughs> details, man. Details. Wow. Well, the the line on the the, the line on the workshop is, um, I figured I would try and do this aircraft justice, and I do believe that he's managed to achieve that. Yeah. Where's pups gone? No way, I'm still there. Fly the pumps. It looks like we've got one digit of fuel remaining this end, so we should have enough fuel, hopefully. Yeah, we'll just take it all and see what's left. We'll have to do a fuel run, pups. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Is it full yet? 12,400 litres we've got. I didn't deploy the landing chute last time. I'll definitely have to do it this time. 
Yeah, well, you can... It's... That Dude! That shoot's, like, sensitive. Have you seen how much this thing costs to spawn in? No. Well, I'm pretty certain... One sec. Holy moly. Yeah, we spawned in with $499,000, and we now have $423,000. That's that's pretty good going for a blackbird. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so on the on the workshop post, at the bottom of it, it says special thanks to all these individuals for providing useful microcontrollers. There's twelve people on that list alone, so there's <laughs> probably thirteen people that have gone in to develop this aircraft. It's not it's like a production. Yeah, I, I you know, his goal was to make this aircraft justice and I genuinely think that he has you know right I think we're just, I, don't know, I thought we'd stop filling fuel then <laughs> almost yep there fuel, we go fuel full have we got a thousand litres left perhaps 110 110 wow <laughs> Yikes. Right. Right, Can't disconnect the fuel and uh, get yourself on board there, pups. <laughs> You're going to get an amazing seat on the wing. <laughs> <laughs> cockpit ground power on. Oh, uh, cockpit ground power. Let's see. Disconnect ground port. No. Where is it? On the right? Yeah, on the right side. Ground power. Uh, oh, press Use check. Cockpit ground. Yep. Check. <laughs> I love that. That's <laughs> awesome. APU on. You just better work, so me. I hope this works. APU generator is on. Uh, APU generator on. No, you'll see what happens, Captain. Flynn. It's really cool. Have you done that? I press check. Um, system power on. Uh, brakes on. Brakes? Where are the brakes? Front, left, right, dash. Uh, front, brakes front, aren't left, working. Dash. Resting brake and it's not toggling. Seriously? Yeah. Apparently I didn't do the APU, even though the APG generator's on. Hang on. I didn't press the start button. Ah, oh, do APUs. <laughs> there we go, that sounds a bit better. I didn't realise there was a separate button for on and start. Um. So, brakes on? I got a bad feeling about this. Brakes are on. Um, right, that's um, it's night time, as if we're going for an early morning landing. Now we'll be then before then. Uh, um, throttle to five. We're gonna go so fast, we'll be oh, there no, yesterday. Um, sorry, brakes, brakes, and then fire suppression systems, which is down by your feet, left side. Good news, the heat worked. <laughs> fire suppression system is closed and locked. Uh, throttle to five percent. Roll the five. Um, left and right fuel pump. Hang on, I don't remember bringing my canopy down, but it seems to be down. Yeah, mine down as well, finally. Left and right fuel pump. Um, start engine one. Uh, what was that? There it is. Engine right. one start. We don't. Okay. Engine one start. Start engine two. Engine two start. Blinking lights, blinking, flashing lights, flashing. Yes, 
stable on both, set the throttle to 11%. APU OPS generates uh, right engine pressure, left engine RPS is stabilizing, and then press what? Throttle to 11%. Eleven percent. Uh, generator one and two on. Gens are on. APU off. APU generator off and ground power off. APU is off. The APU start button's off. Ground power off. Disconnect left and right ports and disconnect service vehicle. Uh, where's that stuff? Uh, back right side, far back right. Disconnect ground ports, left and right, yeah? Yeah, and then disconnect the service vehicle. Disconnect service vehicle. Then you'll notice the little car driving away. See, when you look what that guy does now, how cool is that? just automatically drives off. How brill is that? <laughs> you gotta love that. Uh, nose wheel steering. Nose wheel steering. I uh, saw that somewhere. Uh, need the brakes. Nose wheel steering is on. Burner pumps left side three o'clock. Left and right after burner pumps to one. Yeah. On. And then the next step says release the brake fifteen percent throttle for taxi. And then the next one says if needed enable pitch and roll stabilization, which is that thing that you had to use to land last time. Okay, I know what pitch and roll is. So releasing the brake yeah. is. And then the Remember the landing gear and the shock cones that you'll need to retract after takeoff, yeah? The uh, shock cones is underneath the afterburner switches. Next to the throttle. Shock cones, okay. So when we take yeah, off, so I raise gear and then retract the shock cones, yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do this. Are we both? Are we everybody on board? Yeah, I've got my heater on. Okay, brakes are off. Yeah, if you do fire fire some air protection, it's quite down back here. <laughs> yeah, have you got any lights on me? Because I can't see a thing. Yeah, there are lights um, left side near the um, brakes as well as I know. Taxi lights. They're useful. Not. Look at your screen. Hey? Eh? Look at your screen, the camera. It's useless. You can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't need the whole runway. Although we are carrying extra weight for white and then plus on the Oh way. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> If they survive more than 50% throttle, I'll be amazed. Dude, I can't even see the runway right now. I'm not even joking, uh, I can't see a thing. You're only level with the taxiway at the moment. It's like chucking it with rain at night. This is the worst <laughs> possible conditions to do this. At least it should hopefully be daylight when we get there. Yeah, I can vaguely see the lines, but it's so bad. Yeah, you're approaching the left side of the runway. Okay. Check, check, check. 
Let's see, retract shotguns are there, gears there. Are we ready? What's the, yeah. what's the takeoff throttle normally set, did you know? It's just above 15%, I normally go 30. Punch it, Chewy! Landing gear shotguns when you can. Raise gear, shotguns are on. Altitude hold is on. Stabilizers, stabilizers are on. Have you done the shotguns? Yeah, all done. No, 250 north, below 10,000. Alright, let's see if we can just get this thing stable. Right, the GPS autopilot is on. Altitude maintain 200, maintain heading. Yeah, that should be on. The GPS is on. And the altitude override is on. I'm not being funny, but on the outside, it looks like we're going down. I really would like some daylight right now so we can see what we're doing. Yeah, we're going down. We're at 200 meters right now and stabilizing at 190. I've just put, set it to 150. Why are we so blocked? We're 200 meters off the ground. Um, so if you haven't already done so, you can now show them full throttle. Or 92% for all, just watch the OP. Well, I wanted to show them when we could see the ground, otherwise you can't see very much. It's not really stabilizing the altitude at 200, to be honest. Well, it's set to 150, so it probably won't. Can you set it to 200? Is that something you set or I set? I set, okay. You can control it. Oh, yeah, just altitude, just heading. Is it just becoming daylight for you? Yeah, the light's starting to come out, so we'll punch it shortly. Uh, which route should we take, do you think? Well, it's set on a GPS locator that I've got set. Um, I want to go left to the railway line so we can get there. I did, uh, did have it on heading hold. That's it. We just head west, and then we'll pick up the train line, and we can go north. Oh, yeah, yeah. And hopefully, we can see everything then. Okay. Heading two seven zero. Safe flight. Thank you, dude. <laughs> On the plus side, we're not burning that much fuel at the moment. No, we're not. That's why I'm keeping the throttle here, and we can punch it when we can see what's going on. Because I realise it's quite lightweight on fuel at 30% throttle. But when we punch it, it absolutely drinks it. Uh, referee, when you land, there's no automatical service card to refuel you. So how are you going to solve that problem? Yeah, we fine. Besides, we're not going to make two journeys. Are you guys still alive back there? Yeah. That's amazing. Have you got any heaters on yet? I have. White and passing, but he's the Norwegian, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. My heat would be going over to heat. Retard, so like retard, radio, retard. So. retard. He's got his game to keep him warm. <laughs> Thank you, Nightmare. Back to lights off. Break off. Cockpit heater. Ooh, toasty. Landing chute. Don't need oh, that yet. Yeah, I've got a bit of heat Yeah, I put the cockpit heater on. Press the one key one. It's not working, he said. 
Well, the hug puppies. <laughs> Brett Whiteland. <laughs> Alright, so I'll pick up the train line and then we're we'll heading this direction. Well, he has got his Arctic gear on, so hopefully he'll be fine. Arctic gear and a Norwegian beard, he'll be fine. Oh, we just literally got the worst weather for this. As if those heaters would do something, but in a serious note, you should use the aerial refueling port. Lol. This is just horrible weather. Wait, why have we suddenly turned? Because we got to the previous waypoint. We'll can we, can we just leave it in heading hold? You can do. And I'll just point it towards things. Should be with you, control. Yep. Now it is. See, when I press adjust altitude up, nothing happened. Do you have to hold it? Or is it because I've got a heading over and I'm flying on? Probably. With you. Set altitude 800, what the heck? You've got control of all the systems now. Okay, we're cruising at 500 meters there. You go, there's the train line. I can see something! My neck hurts sitting back here just saying these G-forces are not good. Right, heading hold. Should we just set the altitude to a specific level or...? No, it's alright, I'm just playing with it, it's good. Right, 300 meters set. To let it stabilize at 300. We're on heading hold. Let's do yeah, this. I mean, I mean, even flight level 150 is enough to avoid the obstacles below. Is that 150 meters? Yeah. I go 200. Have a margin of safety about this. Thousand kilometers an hour right now. Just look at the train track. Hold Just on to your beard, pups. I'm holding on. We are absolutely moving now. This is moving, man. Thousand sixty eight, we're doing. Look how much we just moved, guys. Like, we was here for ages and then whoosh. <laughs> it's 
let's get it on, on heading. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Would not recommend. Press F and it really would be F. Oh, the temp warning lights came on when it went above 90. Yeah, I'll say 92, I think, is the like, maximum limit for all the day. We're doing 1200 now. Yeah. Kilometers per hour. <laughs> Now this, this is how you go to the Arctic. This is how you go to the Arctic with two of your mates. Two of your mates strapped onto the outside of the wings. It's just like they give you black up specials, you know? Right, where's the... Um, 20k out. We have four minutes of fuel remaining. Okay, we'll be there in two. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we've got 80 kilometer range. We'll be there in about a minute. <laughs> 16k. I'm gonna have to back off. This thing flies, man. We've got more than half a tank left, and we'll be there in like a minute. Would you like me to take control there to help you out, or are you just happy to do it all? No, I'm good. You're good. Okay, you heard that, folks. We need to back off here. We're just we're going in way too hot right now. It's just set an altitude and a GPS heading in case it goes wrong. You can tell me, Paul, and I'll chuck the systems in. Yeah. If you feel like you're going to overshoot, then I'll take control. Not see thing on its own. This thing is not. It's absolutely nuts. It's like, if anybody has this game and you've got an unlimited creative save, please go to the workshop and download it because it's just an awesome creation. It really, really is. If, if any of us can build anything half as good as this, it's, you know, that's a target. Yeah, but it's only one of us. How many of them was there? There was 13 of us. Exactly. Now. <laughs> Yeah, we were going pretty fast. We were going very fast indeed. Pacific and land this. Are you coming in from that way, are you? Well, I wanted to, to run a downwind leg just to make it a bit easy to get the speed under control. I mean, we could have just gone in hot, you know, and risked it for a missed it, but... Remember where the parachute button is as well? It's key five. Oh, okay. And the soft brakes is three or something? Yes. Don't Basically... Think that it says quick break. Oh, right. Um... Okay, speed Yeah, I'd check. say basically once your wheels are down, you press both buttons and <laughs> hold on. I've got a missed approach program, Paul. <laughs> As if the camera... Look at that! That's it! Ladies and gentlemen, it's currently <laughs> 7.30 on the ground. We'll be landing in a few moments. Please put your tables in the upright position. Return to your seats if you've managed to leave them. It was going so well. Alright, get that off. Alright, we've got landing gear, haven't we? 
Uh, yeah, I can see the camera's down. I think it is down. We got this. just jumped off of his seat. Parachute brakes. Nose wheels collapsed. Nose wheel that collapsed last nose. time. Oh, was it was already on the main. Wheel. It was already on the mains when that happened. Oh, well. Hey, for what? Oh, we're here. There we go. Fixed it. Woo! Um... Right, we can turn around to this thing. Yeah, you should just about be able to do it on the width of the runway. I'll be your guide from the ground. It's gonna do it. I don't know if that's gonna make it. I would have been better no, just not. buying the hangar and grabbing my pump truck and putting you it's back. It's gonna be close. It's not gonna work. It needs more more turn on it. I can't make it. Uh, wait, there's electrical connectors here. I could get my pump truck and jank you around. Is there a reverse gear on this saw me? Um, I don't think there's reverse thrust. You can check though. Hang on, let me put the, um, not that. That. Can I buy this hanger yet? Hey? Can I buy the hanger? Yeah. Um, uh, mm, yeah, I guess. Can't see any reverser on it. Stand by, Paul Wicket, you turned around. A uh, refuel release connector, as if. Yeah, on the roof. Behind us, in the cockpit. Can you imagine? Can you imagine trying to refuel this in the air, yeah. I'm looking for reverse thrust. Maybe you can get enough reverse thrust to go backwards. I don't think this thing has reverse thrust. NGC, thank you, mate. Where the units will come in. electrical connector underneath. There is one. There's there must be. The APU was connected to it. On the there's wing. Three of them. Yeah, on the wing. Left wing where it says 976. And there's two refueling and an electrical connector. Okay. Um. Why did the landing gear just retract? I blame one of them. Not me, I'm in the workbench. Okay, well we're not going anywhere now because the landing gear's broken. I can't... I can't raise it for some reason. <laughs> I, I don't know, I saw one hanging on underneath near the nose wheel and then everything's just gone down but I don't know why or how and I can't get it to come back up. Like the raise isn't doing anything. It's temporarily opening the hatches, but it's not permanently doing it. I don't know. I don't. I'd... It's not working anymore. It was, but it's not now. It, it's not well, responding to throttle either, bizarrely. Really? Wow. Like, I'm, I'm throttling up now to 30. And it's not responding anymore. It's like something just got completely broken. When the gear collapsed, everything seemed to go wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Oh, there's that. Mr. Referick, back in my airplane mechanic days, it would happen so often the parts would touch the gear lever and the Boeing Airbus would just fall off the ground if, if the gear on if the gear on ground detectors were defective. It happened twice in my career. Wow. Imagine that. Expensive. No, oh, you can have a go if you want. I can't make it work. Are you planning on landing that? One engine, we'll see. You just basically punched it. I didn't basically punch it. I got in, system started responding, and the throttle went full. It didn't respond for me. Okay, so the next question is, can you slow it down and get your landing gear back? The landing gear is out. That's so I'm weird. I'm losing altitude massively, though. Yeah, rip some, eh? You're coming down in a big fireball. Nice knowing you. $70,000 worth of US Army Air Force. Boom. Oh, he's bounced off the water. Hang on. <laughs> no, I didn't he's bounce. back. I managed to save it. Wow. He's coming in hot. Smoke coming out the left engine. <laughs> it's on fire. <laughs> Stop. If only That's you had so some weird. water for fire suppression right now. <laughs> I wish my pump truck had a um, Thank you, referee. nozzle on the top of it. That would have been funny. Did you buy this island? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that was funny. Honestly, if you land this thing safely, I'll get you a cup of tea. <laughs> I'll get you a cup of tea. That's coming on, like, the way it's yowing. Can't you shut off the left engine and fly on one engine? The control in the front. Oh, he's coming in hot. One's damaged. Just give me an afterburn run. It's all right, the medic is here. You're going to need the fire crew, never mind the medic. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. I can see the smoky fireball in the distance. Yeah, so I've pressed the en en engine extinguish and it hasn't worked. I wonder why. Oh, actually it has. You could land in the sea. That would cool you down. Right, so you're going to land it? Here we go. No. Nope. I'm just still trying to get control at the moment. Give me a break, will you? <laughs> Whiteland's flying on top of a crane. Come on, you got to land this. Shh, man. Shh. Remember your DCS days. <laughs> You've got this, so many. What are you doing? What? He's just picking up helium boxes, don't worry about it. No, I'm gonna go around and try again from the other way. <laughs> this won't end well. We'll see, Armin. How much thrust have you got at the moment? Set to 32 at the moment. He had loads of fuel. Whose idea was it to go to the Arctic and the Blackbird again? Just for me. No, it was Paul's. Hey, I got us here safely. Oh, yeah. What happened on the ground was nothing to do with me. I was sat in the cockpit. Oh, and I haven't got a parachute. Because that's you don't need used. one. <laughs> Just land and hold the three key. You'll be fine. The rear, the rear canopy is open. <laughs> oh, 
that thing go away, Whiteland. <laughs> wow, I'm so glad I got off. I'm suddenly very glad I decided to get off. <laughs> Let me guess you in the sea. Yeah. It just randomly started turning left. Are you coming on approach yet, Sommy? Sure, sure. It doesn't look like a stable approach from, you know, basic knowledge. A very, very unstable approach. <laughs> wings level, Sammy, wings level. Glider in, that's it. Remember that? Me Remember that night of a Macho Grande? No tool first, got, that's it. If you land, you got a cup of tea waiting for you, Sammy. <laughs> Think of that cup of tea. <laughs> wings level. <laughs> No, oh, he's running our wrong way. You've got it, Sammy. You've he got thinks it. it's a helicopter. Go around, go around. How much fuel do you have left? We had half a tank when I landed it. Got plenty of fuel. Okay, I landed that. I'm the pro here. We got any stuff in the tanks? Nice. Oh yeah, I like your thinking, Paul. Where's the diesel nose connector gone? It's here. Wait, why Should is the door not opening? Um. Hang on, <laughs> pump it, pump it out. There's something wrong here. Go, you're good, you're good, you're good. Wait, that's weird. Whatever you're doing is lagging. Can you stop, please? <laughs> All right, I'll not do anything. Don't fuel it up. Up to something wrong with the door. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know what it is. It's the altitude sensor, which is now on a separate breaker. No. Oh, oh. Um. You got this. No, you don't uh, got this. No, That's no, not no. wheel first. <laughs> I, I see it. <laughs> Man down. This is a multi-million dollar painful experiment. <laughs> we, we're coming for you. Eject, the eject. On the way. Oh, I've never shaked so much in my life doing that. It's a game. Where's the plane? Oh. We seem to be missing a plane. Like having you two in my ear shouting things at me was just. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> what? We didn't shout anything in his ear, did we? We were very supportive, Paul. Like the last time, oh, the dear. last approach was just like, well. Right, so we've got a slight problem in that the doors don't open automatically anymore because. Um, one engine is like. It was really driven unstable. by the altimeter. Oh man. It needs it needs to know how high it is to open automatically. That's broken it. It needs an override button on the outside. Well, it's that's easier said than done. We've got hooked up to that button there, which is a toggle button on the inside. I know what we'll do. We'll put a push button on the outside. That's what we'll do. We'll have a little little cheeky push button right here. And that will be hooked up to toggle the door control. I was going to make sure now 
is that that door control is powered because currently it's not. So that's going to have to come from the battery relay. Now that's the engine relay. Where's the battery relay gone? Uh, the battery relay is going to have to go here. And it's going to have to go here. So that button there is going to have to be separate like that. Oh yeah, we've lost all our Arctic gear, haven't we? Yep. Oh. Because the Blackbird's gone. Wait. Why do I have to hold that, that down? No, because it's pushing a toggle button. I don't get it. Right, can you not press it a second? See, this is a toggle button, so why is it when I press a push button to push a toggle button, it doesn't toggle? Because you need to toggle the toggle. Yeah, but you toggle it with a push button to say toggle. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. You have to toggle the toggle, you don't push the toggle. How can you have exactly. two toggle buttons? You have to toggle the toggle to push the toggle. Just bizarre. It's okay though, you got a search bar. Honestly, that doesn't make much sense. But, whatever. I know what the problem was. I hadn't drunk enough beer to land at Blackbird. Oh, That's what yeah. it is. That's what it was. <laughs> Push button, we need a pulse, otherwise it sends an input every tick, rapidly switching the now toggle. It works. I can't believe you just pushed the button that says do not push. Oh no. Press do the one inside, push. pups. Oh yeah, okay, they're linked now. Yeah, they're linked. Alright, let's chuck some fuel in. I need to see if my magenta line works. Yeah, they seem to like be Whiteland related now. The, co -pilot seat. the two yeah, toggle not. buttons seem to be joined as you one. Sh Whiteland shouldn't be in the co pilot seat, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> hmm, what if that triangle's Ooh. gonna work properly? So we're currently on a heading of 228. Well, it's tracking properly, isn't it? I know, I can't see it. Uh, we're on a 180 heading now. Yeah, let's go to the bottom of the screen. It's a triangle in that many pixels, yeah. If I asked you to draw a triangle with seven blocks, White, then you'd probably come out with the same thing. Just to warn you, you need to turn the heater on or put some arctic gear on. Alright, let's have a heater then. We don't have any arctic gear. And I can't close the doors because I can't click the button, apparently. You can't close the doors, what? Let me click the button above Whiteman's head. Why not? Well, if you get outside, you can press the button. <laughs> okay, hang on, we'll test that very pull. Just open the doors a second. Well, they're already open, you said. Yeah, we've been sent out to uh, find the wreckage of a blackbird that crashed in this area. Over. <laughs> We're looking for survivors. Triangle doesn't face right when you face east. Hang on, yes, yes it does. One second. If I face east, 
on 090. Wait, what? Wait, why is it not facing east when I'm on 090? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You uh, have the code. Wait, look at that. When you turn north, it completely disappears. No. Lol. <laughs> look, watch this triangle. That's amazing. It scales. Look at it. <laughs> is it progressively changing as you're yeah. going through various? As you, as you wow. head north, it just, just it scales it. That's so bizarre. Do you know if you wanted it to do that, you probably wouldn't be able to code it to do that. Okay, there may be issues with this version. So is this like version 384 now, or what? Oh, it's H11.4. We'll sort out the avionics, don't worry. Hey, we made it to the Arctic and we bought an island. And we got here in a blackbird. It's all good. Yeah, so that's weird. I can't press that door. Oh, okay. That's strange. <laughs> was like, there was a, a split second where I need a fuel it cut off. and then didn't. I need, to put, I need to write down a fuel cut off. Right, so we've got issues. Uh, fuel cut off is needed. And magenta triangle is sawn now. Apart from that, it's all good. Right, nine o'clock. There we go. Well timed after all that, lots. Right, thank you for the uh, giggles. That was fun. Yeah, it's um, despite its quirks, it's been a rather good session again. Ah, uh, yeah. And apologies to the dev of the Blackbird, whoever. <laughs> well, for putting wings, for putting seats on the wing. Yeah, I do to solemnly apologise for that. <laughs> he made me. All right, guys. I should be back tomorrow at 12 p.m. Uh, for well, it's my birthday tomorrow, but I'll stream in normal times. So I shall hopefully see you then. If you're not going to be here, have a great Sunday. And thank you for uh, for hanging out. Hope you had fun. I don't know what I'm going to play tomorrow, honestly. I need to work that out. I need to work that out. May I suggest you save and quit the game before we all freeze to death? <laughs> okay. I'll save it now. <laughs> now. Just being picky, but I don't think we all want to die simultaneously. <laughs> Saving. done all right guys so i'll be back fun. tomorrow at 12 um hopefully i'll see you then thank you for the fun thanks to the mods and i'll see you all in a few hours 12 o'clock tomorrow and then uh five o'clock sunday night trucking that's the plan take it easy guys love you all good night